Today we have a G82. We're going to be doing a KW Haas kit or HAS. Um, depends on how you prefer, prefer to call it. These are height adjustable springs. Um, so I'm going to pick up the fronts, just for example. So your spring's pretty normal. This piece here will replace the lower hat on the strut itself. So after we get the strut out of the car, we'll press that off and press this one on to take its place. Uh, we'll walk you guys through that, but stay tuned as we knock this car out. First, we'll start by pulling all the trim as Gage has already um, started on the driver's side there. We'll pull all the separate trim to expose the, the strut hat and all the bolts so that we can get ready to drop the strut down. Um, I'll start pulling the wheels front and rear while he's working on that. And then we'll you know, drop down into the suspension. Next step after the things that everyone else did while I wasn't here, uh, gonna go ahead and pull the uh, sway bar end link off. I'm gonna go ahead and unclip the uh, adaptive ride sensor. Just kind of get a couple things out of the way so that we can unbolt the start from the top, drop it down, not have anything caught up in the way. Just give us a little bit of room. These generation and the previous generation are pretty simple to lower pretty quick. It's a little bit of tension. All right, so I do these a little bit different. So traditionally speaking, you'd pull the lower bolts, uh, widen the knuckle part, pull the entire strut assembly out, carry it over to the strut compressor, um, put tension on it, loosen the top nut, pull the spring off, pull the top hat off, etc. Because strut compressors are super sketchy and I hate using them, we pull the center bolt first while everything is in the car. I'll loosen tension down, which will release all the spring pressure I'll pull the spring out of the body of the car, then I'll pull the strut with a bunch of different ways to do it. That's just the way I like to do it here. Easiest way. Yeah, <laughs> safest way. So this is an X drive. Um, so we pulled the center bolt here. That way when I do get all this suspension down, I can pull the uh, rotor and knuckle and everything away from the car. Gotcha. So it's not catching on the axle. No tension on the spring, and I can just walk it off the top of the straw. Okay, because uh, as I mentioned earlier, this piece has to take place of this one for the new springs. So what I'm doing is I'm using a Sharpie to mark the bottom for the height. So I know that this has to be driven on that far. And then I'm gonna put a mark for the center. So when I push this off and go to push that one on there, I can line it up directly where it needs to go. Cool. That's it. And reverse it, put it back. All right, so what I'm gonna, these are fully adjustable. So I'm gonna start by setting it to 10 millimeters. I'm gonna set the distance here and KW has this Allen to where we can lock it in that position. Uh, so I'll start with that. That won't get it fully dropped. It'll be somewhere right in the middle. And then by the time we get the car back together, we can let it settle and see how we like the height. And then we can always loosen this and thread it up if we need to to adjust the height. I'm going to remove the factory bump stop. Replace that with the one that KW sent us, but shorter. Work our boot around until it touches, get the dust boot lined back up, and we'll swing this back up into place and bolt it in. Alright, so we got center re-stabbed, got the nut started by hand, get that tight, and then it's just reverse everything that we took off earlier, put the sway bar back, have the cables, um, check our adjustment, move to the other side, call it done. All right, we have the front buttoned up minus the trim, so we're gonna start on the back. Um, Gage is disassembling the shock. We're gonna pull the shock out, we'll pull this inner bolt, and we'll let the whole control arm swing down out of the way. We'll drop the spring out, then I'll move up top, take these upper bolts out, uh, so we can change the bump stop out on the shock.
Ta-da! Ching, spring. <laughs> <laughs> These will also get replaced. Boot stays and install the ones that KW gave us. Right. Stock one, KW is a bit shorter. Just slide it onto the new boot. They can go back on the shock and that'll be that. When it comes to going back together, KW sends the adjuster for the top of the spring. They'll set upwards like this. As we discussed, they have their um, proprietary bump stop that's already installed on the shop and then it will use the factory isolator for the bottom to go into the control line here so just slip that into place use this tab to locate your hole and then put everything back in there the back of this car is very simple oh. <laughs> Uh. It's on the Alright guys, uh, thanks for checking in. We're at the end of this episode. We just wrapped up this beautiful G82. Uh, again, we lowered it on a set of KW Haas kits. We adjusted the spacing 10 millimeters away from the max drop. Uh, took it around the block, just kind of see how it settles. With more mileage, it should drop a little bit more, but overall I think it's going to be a perfect height for what our customer wanted. And then if it needs to come back in, we can just raise it up or lower it down a little bit more. Call it a day. <laughs>